Hey YouTube, I want to put a front end loader on my compact tractor and wouldn't you know it, the steering arm and the hydraulics are both in the way of where I want to mount it. I've done another video on redesigning the steering arm and this one concerns rerouting the hydraulic line so that I can mount the front end loader. Let's have a look at how I did it. Alright YouTube, this is the hydraulic pump on the tractor here and it comes off at the bottom here. The pipe goes around here, down here and back here. But right here is where I need to mount the post for the front end loader and this section of the pipe is in the way of it. Therefore, I have to cut the pipe up here, cut the pipe down there and I'm going to join a piece of rubber hose in there so that it comes up along here and down that way somehow, away from the loader anyway, that's the main point. A little bit worried about doing this job, I've done a bit of plumbing before, just household plumbing, never done anything with hydraulics, so hoping everything goes just right. I'm going to start by taking this piece here off the uh, oil pump, so that that will give me, hopefully, I'll be able to pull the pipe out enough to get a cut in there. I can put the rubber hose on this end with a pressure fitting and then after that I can put that back on and come down to this other end and cut him off about there. Join the other end of the rubber hose onto him and hopefully it'll be a nice straightforward job taking only a few minutes. Famous last words. Hopefully I've got the camera positioned where you can see most of the job happening. This is the hose I'm going to put on there. He'll come around something, something like that and should be well out of the way of the front end loader. First things first, let's see if we can get this off easily. I was going to do this out in the yard, but I decided that an ice cream container underneath to catch the runoff would be a better option. Now, I've no idea whether these are in a particular order and the screws are a different size, so I'll maintain the order until I figure that out. There's always one in the bunch, that other bolts in the way of this. Well, so far all the bolts are the same size anyway. Three the same size. wonder if I can get into this one. I could if I had an extension piece in this socket set, but I don't for this size socket. It's got an extension for the other size. There we go, got him anyway. Got an extension for the larger sockets, but no extension for the small ones. And of course, you can imagine the number of times I've wanted an extension for the small ones just because there isn't one. And yes, there is oil running out. It says something for the quality of the seal though. It didn't come out until I got that last nut off. Now, uh, yes, I think I can get a cut in there on that. But before I do that, I forgot to get my safety glasses. So I'm not about to cut that with metal and oil flying everywhere without them. All right, name of the truth. If I cut this wrong, I am in deep shit. Uh, okay, well, cutting crooked and got sprayed with oil, so good job I had this on. Of course, I had the ice cream container in the wrong spot, typically. Took a chunk out of my cutting wheel, too. Let's go out and trim this up to a nice straight cut, and I'll get this pipe fastened onto it. I've got this piece here all cleaned up, deburred inside and outside. I'm just fasten this onto it, and then he can go back in place while I cut the other one. One last time, just make sure that all this is measured right, as this is my last chance. That should be right. Sprayed oil everywhere again. I oh, uh, didn't think to bring a rag. Never mind, the important thing is to get all the burrs off. But it works okay for getting the burrs off the inside of a pipe as well. Little file there. Let's go around the outside of the pipe, make sure there's no burrs on him. Okay, there we have him, that's up that. Now I've got another sort of big bearing tool, which is just a triangular, uh, I forget what you call them, pick maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, there's a gunk down in there. Make sure we're totally deburred in there because I don't want any metal chip going back into the tank. And last but not least, a couple of bathroom cotton buds out of my wife's makeup kit. Just use them to make sure that there's no chips of metal or anything left in there. I can't feel any grit in there now. I think that's pretty good. 
think bolting this back on would probably be a good move as the next step. Oh, I just spotted that the hay ring had fallen out into the ice cream bucket, which means I'm not going to get a real good seal on here. Bad enough, I nearly had it all done up. I guess it would have been worse if I had it really had it all finalised and snipped up. Yes, there he is, he was gone. I actually didn't even think to check that because I thought he was in there fairly solidly. He was just sitting there loose. Once more, into the fray, dear friend. Big hands and little bolt heads don't go together very well. End up cramping up. And there's rubber O-ring here, so we just want to nip these up tight. We don't want to screw the guts out of them. I'll try and judge how tight they were when I did them. I always tighten them up the crossways, just so it doesn't pull it all the wrong way. I've always been taught that when you're tightening up things like wheels and uh, anything like this with a gasket or an O-ring in it, you always go across and try not to tighten down one side all at once. Hopefully, I think that will do the trick. And pack up my tools and job done. I'll just bring the camera down here to show you a close up of the replacement hose. It's a bit of shaky cam there. You can see the fitting, pressure fitting there. Hose coming down here to the other fitting there and joining back in on the pipe on both ends. It goes down behind that and up there and up into the pump just there. And that will clear the front end loader arm that I'm putting in there. And that was what that whole exercise was all about. Unfortunately, I did make a bit of a mess with oil on the floor. Can't be helped. At least I did catch most of it on the paper. And now that I've done all the necessary chores of uh, moving the steering arm and the hydraulic line, I can see how my front end loader arm fits on here. Hopefully it's going to fit on perfectly without any dramas whatsoever. Yes! Yes, that will be good. Yeah, getting in past the steering arm to do these, put these bolts in, was a bit of a nuisance, because the other side didn't have the steering arm, of course. Radio right, YouTube, the moment of truth. I'll give the tractor a bit of a start up and see if the hydraulics still work. and excellent. Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I did approach this job with considerable trepidation because I hadn't worked with hydraulics before, apart from repairing my wife's garden hose. It went along much better than I'd hoped, not a problem at all. If you'd like to see more of my project videos, go to my channel or browse to my website. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for more. Until next time.